Leveling out weapons is obviously quite hard in Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. Methods are constantly changing, so here is the current new most broken way to level up your weapons in Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone Season 2. Be sure to leave a like if you found this video useful, and check out my other Season 2 guides like how to level up the battle pass fast, how to earn bones fast in the horde hunt event, Warzone tips, camera guides, zombies guides, that kind of thing. There's going to be timestamps in the description if you want to jump to a specific part of the video, but I'm going to try and make this video as short and as simple as possible. We can talk about the new fastest ways to level up your weapons in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, zombies, and then Warzone, and discuss quickly the best ways overall. Before we carry on with the video, if you're looking to permanently unlock the new Modern Warfare 3 mastery camos, or play in bot lobbies to max out your guns and unlock camos quickly, or get your hands on an instant delivery pre-made account, then be sure to check out MitchCactus.com. These guys are the biggest and most reliable sellers, with tons of offerings for Modern Warfare 3, with completely safe and legitimate services on all platforms. So far, they've almost 10,000 reviews on Trustpilot, so if any of that sounds good to you guys, then make sure to use code RAGER for 5% off for a limited time only. Check out the link in the description. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. First things first, let's start off with multiplayer. And as always, I'm going to give you guys a very simple class setup that's going to give you more weapon XP if you use it. A lot of people don't know this, so make sure you do put these things on your class. First of all, for the perks, you want to put on the Demolition Vest so you can resupply a lethal and tactical equipment every 25 seconds. You want to put on Scavenger Gloves for perk 1 so you can resupply ammo, Stalker Boots for perk 2, and the Blacklight Flashlight for the gear in perk 3 just to show recent enemy footsteps and find more enemies. For the equipment, you want to put on Decoy Grenades for the tactical as they count towards weapon XP and something like a Semtex for the lethal. And then for the field upgrade, you can either put on the DDoS or a trophy system. I'll explain in a minute how that comes into it. And then make sure you put on score streaks, not kill streaks, and put something like a county AV as well as UAV, and then something else like a sentry turret. Great, now you've got your class set up. What modes do you want to play? Well, currently, the best modes in multiplayer are either Stash House 24 7, which is one of the new small maps in Season 2. It's a new map, Mosh Pit. Very nice small map. It's different from Shipment, so if you're bored of that, definitely go onto this. It's not the best, but it's pretty good. It's close quarters and quite small, so I do like it. Seems even smaller than Meat as well. Alternatively, there is also a small map, Mosh Pit which is great it's got four very small maps in it it's got stash house which is this new one it's got rust it's got shipment and it's got meat from season one so four great small maps really like that playlist definitely play something like that if you want to level up your weapons fast if it's outside of that time there might be like a rust or a shipment playlist or something like that so play one of those small map mosh pits and then once you're in the game that's going to get you a good amount of xp just playing the mode but most people will kind of just blindly run around map getting some kills thinking they're leveling up weapons and while they will it's not the fastest way to do it so let's quickly talk about the fastest way you actually do need to level up your weapons in multiplayer and what you need to actually be doing in game so of course getting kills is an important part of weapon xp so obviously you want to try and push for as many kills as you can but when you spawn in there's something else you need to focus on so obviously you need to focus on using your decoy grenades and this is because they give you weapon xp so what you want to be doing is throwing them around the map into high flow areas where they're going to come across enemies the more you throw the more decoy assist xp you're going to get and therefore more weapon xp for your weapon so it definitely is a nice bonus it's not going to be the main part of it but it's definitely going to be a good bonus to your weapon xp so you can get to each level a bit faster so keep throwing the decoy grenades in every single time you spawn in throw them quickly somewhere into a high flow area or near an objective and then you want to keep rushing around getting kills now you can either use the ddos or the trophy system like we said and whatever it is you just need to wait till it recharges as a field upgrade if you're using the ddos obviously try and use it when there's equipment nearby or enemies that you can ddos that will get you nice xp quite quickly over and over whereas the trophy system put it into a high flow area especially if you're playing a map like shipment or something where there's lots of enemies nearby on an objective put it there loads of people are going to chuck equipment and it's going to obviously destroy that and give you xp alongside it so keep using your field upgrade use your decoy grenades use your lethal equipment as well to keep throwing into areas and get kills and obviously use your weapon as well to get kills and xp the last main thing you want to go for and this is a massive part of it is the objective this is going to make a massive part of the xp you get so if you're playing kill confirmed pick up the tags if you're playing domination or hardpoint capture those zones as well as actually capturing them you also want to make sure you're getting kills at the same time so if you're shooting enemies that are on domination or hard points you get attacker xp you get the opposite which is defender xp if you're shooting enemies while you're on your objective that's going to get you a lot of xp as well more than just capturing the objective or getting kills so definitely worth trying to do that as much as you can and as well as this just make sure you're using your weapons to destroy enemy equipment enemy field upgrades and enemy kill streaks and obviously make sure you're using your kill streaks field upgrades and equipment as well try and go for more exciting kills like headshots long shots that kind of thing and that's going to get you more xp as well and that's pretty much it for multiplayer fairly standard but let's talk about zombies and warzone because they have changed a bit so for zombies this is kind of changing quite a lot it used to be fantastic it's still okay if you do the right things and i'll explain what you want to do so before you start the game make sure you put the weapon you want to level up on obviously put on a field upgrade such as an energy mine put on a semtex or something like that and then a stim or decoy grenade and then obviously activate a double weapon xp token if you're out of a double weapon xp weekend then what you want to do is you want to launch into game and there's about three or four different methods you can do in zombies the first one which is the most useful at the moment i'd say involves a glitch and specifically what you want to do is you want to go and start the outlast contract now this was great before but then obviously it's been patched but there's a new glitch going on with this so what you want to do is start the outlast contract go to that area that little 
little sort of purple dark ether themed hard point zone activate the pnd and then just stay on the zone it will go up it'll capture it you don't want it to complete so make sure you get, don't get a ton of percent but wait till it gets to about 90 to 95 percent that way lots of zombies are going to be spawning and chasing you and at that point what you want to do is just hold down the y button on xbox or the triangle button on playstation and basically you just want to cancel the contract once you open up the map or the inventory at about 90 to 95 percent so get to that percentage cancel it and what's going to happen is the game is going to get glitched and even though you've cancelled the contract there's going to be zombies spawning in over and over again in that zone if you were to leave the zone and go a little while away and come back they'll despawn so don't leave too far stay roughly in that area but yes they're going to keep spawning over and over again throughout the whole game so cancel the contract the zombies going to keep coming and keep just killing them over and over again and use the methods that we've kind of always said in zombies so you know use your weapon to get xp use your lethals like semtex to get more kills use the insta kill power-ups don't use the nuke power-ups use kill streaks like sentry turrets and stuff put them down they'll help you get more kills that will help recharge your field upgrade and then once your field upgrade is charged put that down in a pile of zombies it will destroy them all and then do the same thing over and over again basically and it's going to get a lot of weapon xp you're going to go through weapon levels quite quickly which is good it's not the most efficient way but it's still quite good but there's a few other methods in zombies which work well and what i'd say is that there is i believe still a cap in zombies so whatever the cap is it kind of depends it's normally between 7 and 14 weapon levels once it gets to that point and you suddenly notice that the weapon levels drop off and it's taking a massive amount of time and you're not getting any weapon levels then at that point you've reached the cap for that game and you'd have to kind of start another game there is something you can do later on and i'll talk about that in a minute but basically you've kind of reached the cap and you'd have to right restart another game now the other things you can do instead of that outlast contract is you can obviously just grind other contracts whether that's outlast spore control deliver cargo contracts are quite good hvt contracts that kind of thing just get through them as quickly as you can if you've got like a good weapon rarity and you've pack punched it or something you can easily get through like hvt contracts really really fast the bounty contract so just do whatever ones you want just go through those you should get at least a weapon level for each one normally the third thing you can do is you can kind of farm x fills obviously they're not as packed as they were pre-season one but they are still not too bad so there's still a fair amount of zombies they've buffed it since season one and there's also some bosses as well basically like manglers and stuff so definitely try and farm those for at least one round if you can it's quite good it gives you some kills and xp so that, that's definitely worth the leveling up your weapon as well what i'd say is when you've done other stuff in the match and you want to leave obviously do your round of x fill and then you can just leave the match and kind of repeat and do it over again so definitely x fill for at least one round if not more just gets a weapon xp hit the cap leave the game and kind of do the same thing over and over again there is a fourth thing you can do as well in zombies and it's as i've said before the act one tier seven extraction mission now this i believe has a separate xp cap so basically what you could do is you could do like the outlast contract or you could do some of the other contracts or whatever method or x for farming and then once you've done that you can then do this act one tier seven extraction mission in the same game and there's like a separate cap for that so it's definitely worth pairing if you can but if not it's not the end of the world it just makes it a little bit more efficient so for this mission what you want to do is obviously the act one tier seven extraction mission you want to have already unlocked that so you can do it and if you've already done it you can do it again so it doesn't matter put that mission on and then basically load up the mission spawn into zombies and wait for the special x fill point to spawn in the map once you know where it's spawning head towards it call in the helicopter board it and basically go to dr jansen's location then it'll bring you into a new small area of the map and what you want to do is you want to pick up dead bolt turret ammo mod circuit board so there's gonna be one once you jump off the helicopter on the roof pick that one up then kind of go around the edge of the map go to dr jansen's office there's going to be one in the corridor opposite her office on like some barrels or something then once the percentage bar gets to 100 her office is going to open there'll be a turret circuit board in there as well there's also going to be one in the shed outside her office and there's going to be one in the upstairs office area where you escort her to the rooftop helipad once you've picked them up you pick up as many as you like each one's going to get you two minutes on the deadbolt turret so as many minutes as you can get really basically then what you want to do is go to the roof and you're going to call in the helicopter now once it lands don't get in otherwise you'll exfil and it'll leave the map and what you want to do is basically stay on the roof and then dr jensen will be kind of waiting to get into the helicopter you want to load up the deadbolt turret which is on the helipad put in as many circuit boards as you want ideally at least four that's going to get you at least eight minutes of turret use basically the turret's going to instantly kill any zombies it finds so i'd kind of just you can either just sit on the helipad or you can kind of run around that will attract more zombies to jump up and therefore get more kills or you can go around looking elsewhere for zombie kills while it's doing it it's up to you but i'd recommend staying on the helipad running around so that zombies going to jump up onto the helipad and therefore get killed by the turret more quickly so just do that for a few minutes and that's going to get you quite a few weapon levels very quickly and like i say it's a separate cap from the other contracts so definitely worth doing this towards the end of the match if you can then when you finish basically hop onto the helicopter and exfil and kind of restart the process finally let's talk about how to load up your weapons quickly in warzone currently the best method in the game is vondor lockdown our all-time favorite mode it's better than plunder plunder's not around right now but when plunder's back i'll explain in a future video the best way to do it but for vondor lockdown here's what you want to do first of all make a class with the weapon you want to level up and then in the perk 3 slot put on the resupply perk which allows you to recharge equipment every 50 seconds then in the tactical equipment put on a decoy grenade 
grenade. I'll explain why that's important. And then hop into Vondel Lockdown. In the pregame lobby, make sure you're getting kills, using equipment, that kind of thing to get weapon XP. That all counts. Make the most of that. And then when the game starts, there's four main things you want to do. First of all, make sure you're using decoy grenades. You obviously spawn in with some and then you can replenish more from your resupply perk and from the munitions boxes, which you get from loot boxes. Then what we want to do is basically throw decoy grenades into popular areas with enemies or kind of on zones that need to be captured, just places where there's going to be enemies. If it goes off near an enemy, you're going to get 200 XP and weapon XP. Very simple, so you can just keep chucking those as much as you like. The second thing you want to do is open loot boxes, not just loot boxes, any other containers, cash registers, first aid kits, duffel bags, all of them are individually going to give you 100 weapon XP. So 10 of them obviously is 1000 XP, really simple. So just open as many of those as you can. There's tons of those containers in Vondel Lockdown. So search the buildings for them. The third thing you want to do is obviously make sure you're getting kills. Each kill is going to get you several hundred weapon XP, loads of enemies spawn in, hang around the zones, get loads of kills. It's really simple. And then the fourth thing you want to do is basically keep holding these zones that become active and inactive. Each time you capture it from an enemy or from neutral, you're going to get 500 weapon XP, really simple. And then after about 20 to 30 seconds, if you've not gotten any more, I'm not sure if you have to stay on it or not. I think you have to pop off of it. And when you step back on, you're going to get another 500 weapon XP for kind of like recapturing it. So each time you step on and off after about 20 to 30 seconds, you're going to get another 500 weapon XP. Very simple. So you do that twice, it's a thousand weapon XP. Do those four main things and you're going to level up incredibly fast in Vondel Lockdown. Finally, let's talk about which modes are best overall. So starting with Water Zone, obviously Vondel Lockdown, like I said, is better than Plunder. When Plunder's back, I'll explain the method for that. I'd say Vondel Lockdown is the best way to level up with guns right now because you can easily get lots of weapon XP from opening containers, throwing decoy grenades and stepping onto an objective. It's really not difficult stuff, really simple to do, really easy and you're going to get a ton of XP. I'd say probably better than multiplayer. Aside from that, the multiplayer method of playing in a close quarters map is great as well. Probably second best, although it's more variable depending on what the game is and how much skill there is and who you're playing against. And the zombies is the third best method. It's not fantastic. It is still good, but not quite as fast. So if you're bored of the other methods, definitely try zombies. Otherwise, I'd leave it for now. Hopefully they will buff it in the future. But at the moment, it's a little bit disappointing. Anyway, those are the fastest way to level up your guns in Modern for 3 and Warzone Season 2. Hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, be sure to drop a like on the video and check out my other Season 2 guides, like how to level up the battle pass, the horde hunt event, how to get bones and skulls for that, zombies guides, Warzone guides, that camera guys, that kind of thing. Also make sure you're subscribed to stay up to date with all my latest Modify 3 and Warzone videos and I'll see you all on the next video.